offering today coming to us from Matt Brewing Company out of New York. Um, Saranac uh, is the brand, I guess. Uh, it's called Prism. This is a white ale. Uh, ale brewed with spices and natural flavor added. So uh, there you have it. Um, of course, as we mentioned before, Saranac, they just brew a lot of different types of beer. And this is, uh, I guess, a wit beer according to Rate Beer, uh, and an American Pale Wheat Ale according to Beer Advocate. So take your pick. They're both very similar styles. 5.2% ABV is what we're getting here. Um, and it says the light or this light-colored wheat ale might have a hazy appearance, but one thing's crystal clear. It practically sparkles with bright citrusy flavor. Enjoy. Gets an 82 on Beer Advocate, which is, uh, which is very good. Uh, 57 on rape beer, which is kind of uh, in the middle there, a little bit average. Uh, I'll pour into a, a Weizen glass. It's 5.2% ABV, which I believe I mentioned before. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we see that cloudy kind of pour that we're pretty used to with American Pale Wheats or Wit Beers. Again, don't add the lemon. Drink it as is. The lemon is an Americanized um, abhorrence, if you will. Don't like it. Um... So I don't know if there's anything uh, special that they brew with uh, with this. I love when when uh, the, the beer companies say, uh, "Hey, uh, we brewed it with spices." Well, list the damn spices that you brewed it with. Don't just say, "Hey, we brewed it with spices." Well, what did you brew it with? Nutmeg, cinnamon. What? What did you brew it with? Uh, let's see if we can get the aroma, and maybe we can kind of delve into what kind of things they brewed this particular Prism White Ale with. Whoa, bubble gum, maybe. <laughs> I'm getting a very passion fruit kind of smell from this, a very light, just just mangoey, you know, just uh, a little bit of dank grapefruit kind of smell. Oh man, but I'm definitely not getting that lemony zest kind of smell that you get from a lot of whip beers. This is very almost like watermelony uh, a bit, just very uh, fruity, fruity. Um, tropical fruity smell to this beer definitely completely different than anything i've ever smelled from a wit beer before so that is pretty amazing so maybe they did do um either the fresh ingredients or maybe some artificial flavoring i hope not the latter but it does kind of just smell like a fruity like like bubble gum candy that you would buy uh, as a kid so let's get the taste now of saranac prism mm. Yeah, that aroma lingers back into the taste as well. As soon as it hits uh, the the front of your tongue, you're getting that uh, mangoey tropical fruit thing, and it de it's definitely kind of going back in a, in a very bitter kind of way in the back of the tongue. Um, maybe the dankness of of the grapefruit kind of taste to this beer in the back um, is intermixing with uh, whatever the heck else is going on with these uh, these fruit flavors here in this beer. I've got to say, I prefer the original, um, just a, 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 a an original kind of tasting wit beer to this, um, personally. But I could see how some people might might like it and like the diff the, the the way it's different. Uh, and people that are really into the passion fruit and really into the mango and stuff like that, they might be uh, they might want to gravitate toward this, this style of wit beer. Who knows? Um, that said, it, it is very. Very distinct um, from anything else that's out there. Uh, I like the fact that Saranac wasn't afraid to kind of kind of go off uh, and do their own thing here. Um, what I don't like is uh, it, whatever ingredients they're use they're using. It doesn't taste uh, real. It tastes like artificial flavoring. Um, and I don't really know what the real passion fruit would taste like, what kind of difference that would make. And maybe they did use the real whatever in this, uh, and I'm just I'm just not, you know, used to it. I don't know. But to me, I'm just, my senses are kind of telling me it might be artificial flavoring, but I'm not positive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give Saranac Prism uh, a 5 and a half out of 10. Uh, I like the try. Um, it looks like a wood beer. Uh, it smells a little bit too passion fruity to me for my personal liking but if you do like that kind of thing i think it tastes a little bit artificial um and i forgot to do what kind of head we have on this beer it's about a finger of head i guess about a yeah about a finger or so 
Um, so that's Saranac Prism, uh, just released uh, for the spring. I don't know if they're going to do this again, but we'll see. So 5.5 out of 10 for Saranac Prism White Ale. Thanks.